Wolf here with another first 15, this time Killing Room. This one's a little bit of a weird story, so this game came out like a while ago, like multiple years ago, and technically I've waited like four years since requesting the key to actually play it, which you might be kind of thinking, well wait, how how did you request this four years ago when this YouTube channel hasn't even been around that long? And the funny thing about this, so... I had an older YouTube channel before, I've mentioned that, and on that channel I also used Keymailer a little bit and requested games, and I like never got anything sent to me on that channel because it was it was a lot smaller, it, it wasn't around for long enough to actually like develop like this one has. But anyway, I was on the email for that channel the other day because I still use that email address for stuff, and I saw that there was a Keymailer thing on there and it said my, my key request for this game had been granted, which I was like, that's weird because that YouTube channel doesn't even exist anymore. I kind of thought Keymailer probably would have disabled the account associated with it, but I, I sure enough, I was able to manage to, to still log in, and I got the key for this game from my old account, and I figured, well, I should still do a first 15 on it because it's, it's still me and I still have a YouTube channel, so here we are. Funny thing also about this, I looked on my new Keymailer account to see if you could like still request a key for this. You can't even request a key for this game anymore, which is odd. I don't know why it got taken off a key mailer, and I also don't really know how I got a key for it when it doesn't actually seem to exist on key mailer anymore. Anyway, though, so this game is Killing Room. It's kind of like a, I don't want to say cheap, but I guess that's probably the best way to put it. Kind of cheap, like almost like a fan game of Killing Floor, I think. I haven't played very much Killing Floor, as you guys can even see in my little game list there. I don't even own it on PC. I played it a little bit on the PS4 version of it for like a beta or a free weekend or something. It's kind of similar. It's very clearly like a lower budget thing. I think this is actually a pretty cool game. It never has costed that much money, so I don't think it was like like ever particularly a bad deal. It doesn't have like the best reviews on Steam, I think, because some people either thought it was like a spin-off of Killing Floor and thought they got like screwed or whatever. But I mean, it's it's not that bad. Sorry if you guys can hear like a massive truck going down the street. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to actually turn the microphone off for a little bit because there's a little intro video that that plays when you uh, start the game, so I'm going to let you guys see that. So, talk to you when that's done with. Have you ever thought of taking part in a reality show? Not many have what it takes to overcome insidious traps. To fight their way through endless masses of genetically engineered monsters. To please an ungrateful and bloodthirsty audience. To follow the path of the heroes who have survived and beaten this vicious reality show in the past. The illusion of escaping the cycle of poverty is as mesmerizing and treacherous as the singing of a siren. But it might be your only chance. Abandon all hope before entering this terrifying reality show called... Killing Room. All right, so abandon all hope before entering Killing Room. I, you know, I gotta say, despite the fact that this game has some like iffy reviews and stuff, I really, really love the atmosphere that it paints. I think it's it's a really cool atmosphere that they go for. It's like, you know, I mean, it's not like the first time anybody's done this sort of dystopian murder TV kind of like idea for a video game, but I, I think they do it pretty well, even though it's kind of, like, cheaper. I will say, it says that I have one death so far in this game, which is strange because I... So I played it to test it out the one time, make sure it, like, even ran on my computer and stuff, and I got past, like, the first floor and then quit, and then apparently it said my character, like, died, even though I didn't actually die, so... Anyway, um... Now, instead of just hitting start game, I'm gonna start with the tutorial, because the tutorial is kind of like actually the first floor, so I don't want to really skip over that. Oh, that reminds me, I also need to start 
the timer here. Alright. It's on my phone. Okay. Uh, so, start that. I don't know. I might play for more than 15 minutes if, uh, if we're doing really well and we're going full way, but... Uh, anyway, start tutorial. Now, hopefully the game, like, actually runs and doesn't crash or something. It's running at, like, 44 FPS right now with the recording, so... Well, we'll see. Um, oh, also, I believe this game is randomly generated, as that thing says. It was kind of funny, that intro video, it said the game was running at, like, 90 FPS, but the intro video still runs at, like, 5. <laughs> Which is just kind of one of the things when you get sort of smaller, developed games, but... Yeah. You know, I should even check and make sure this game is still on Steam, because, like... The fact it's not on Keymailer, I'm like, does it does it still exist? Because, I mean, I know that some games out there, you, like, even if they're taken off Steam, if you have a key for them, you can still play them. That's, that's like, how you can play games pre-release and stuff if you're a uh, YouTuber, which, you know, I've got to say, really cool sometimes when I get sent stuff through Keymailer before it comes out. A lot of times my video ends up still not being out for, like, three weeks until after it comes out, but it's very, very cool and thoughtful of developers. Speaking of that, I should put whoever sent me this key on the screen if I can figure it out. I don't think I deleted that email, but it's in, like, an old email anyway. Anyway, I'll, I'll try to figure it out. But we'll see if it loads. If it doesn't load, I'll just try uh, recording with, with Windows Game Bar, see how that that goes, because sometimes that likes to record better. So, okay, there we go. I heard a sound. Did you know that having useful items is crucial for your survival? No way! Did I not start the, the stopwatch? Okay, yeah, I did. Did that take like a minute to load? Man. Okay. Press E to interact with objects. Try talking to that cute receptionist. We were expecting you, dear. I'm Lily. Don't mind the smell. It's just the burning flesh. Of How do you work in an environment like the that? Second floor. Please go to the elevator, which will take you to the training floor. Call me if you survive. How about I don't? Uh, gore. <laughs> I gotta say, one of the one of the things that I kind of like. I always find interesting whenever people do like a dystopian type of game, but like, uh, like a, like one of those things, like a story that's kind of like half dystopia, half utopia, or like dystopia disguised as a utopia kind of thing. How there's always like such clean rooms before murder, like, like the rest of this game clearly is supposed to like. I mean, if it's supposed to be a TV show, it's supposed to be like sets that are supposed to look like, well, pretty much what the New York City subway looks like, uh, but like. Look at this elevator. This elevator is so clean, and that reception room was so clean, and now we have Pick this. <laughs> like, some doors and coffins are locked. You must use a lock pick to get Lily's still open. talking to me, I guess. That's that's what that voice is. How's she talking to me when I don't uh have anything? This lock picking game, I think, is uh honestly pretty cool. It's a uh, I've never seen a game try to do it this way. I mean, obviously, it's not. Not like the the most bestest put together, but it's it's kind of at least like you don't break seven lockpicks trying to get a door open like Fallout sometimes. So onward Shoot we go. Bastard. And giant baby head. Are a great way to deal with enemies. Take the barrel and move it next to the new one, and then boom. May seem a little bit too Kick dangerous. small canisters. Don't worry. Give it a try. There we go, professional right there. Does it show my character's name in here somewhere? I could have sworn that it showed like my character. Yeah, Miguel de Sit Den Deniska Reed. Uh, popularity and stuff. I'm trying to remember if this game had streamer functions. I think this might have been one of those games that has like, if you're live streaming it, you can set it up so so people can uh, like screw with your. Uh, with your game while you're playing. I remember, uh, I actually did a live stream one time on my old channel with, uh, and make a way with a, up for yourself. with a, oh man. I'm not really a big fan of how E and F do different things. Like, I kind of wish it was one button, and then if you pressed it on some objects, you would kick them, and on other objects, you would pick them up automatically, because it's kind of a pain. What was I saying? That one kill all zombies or whatever, that game on, yeah. PS4. I, uh, I did a stream with that one time. Useful items and fridges. Ridiculous. Nothing good ever comes from the fridges. Only monsters. And what is worse? Pick up items. She's still talking. She's still saying things. 
you know, can I just say, as <laughs> as somebody who is a native speaker of it, why did she get quiet all of a sudden? As somebody who is who is a uh, a, a native speaker of English, I don't understand sometimes when like voice actors who don't seem to have an accent, who seem to be American or British or Canadian, why they don't like tell people who've written their lines if they're very like weird with grammar because some some of the lines that i've heard in this game are clearly like translated but not the best translated like if somebody ever asked me to voice at and the lines didn't make any sense and they were trying to make sure that the game was like serious i would tell them that hey the wording here doesn't work <laughs> like sometimes i think people do it on purpose to like screw up other people's games or whatever Oh, don't shoot the camera or else uh, the viewers get angry. I learned that the first time because I thought it was a monster by accident. Also, you have to manually reload in this game, uh, even if you have run out of ammo, which is kind of- whoa! Which is kind of a hard thing to remember sometimes. Sorry it's not running the best. Uh, I know that that kind of sucks sometimes, but... Can't really do anything about it. I, I am. I, I played with some settings on OBS, and uh, it does actually seem to be helping a little bit with recording stuff, which is nice. I have it like rendering a different way. I think is the main thing. Shut up and take my money. Yeah, using using certain things makes a crowd dislike you more. As you guys can see up in the top left, it's got a little how much the crowd likes you thing, which. I'm not sure how that affects gameplay so much. It's kind of weird. At times it seems like the crowd dislikes you for doing things that you would think the crowd would like you for if you were watching like a real TV show or whatever. But... What kind of company has the money to make these type of monsters, man? You'd think they could at least like throw some paintings in here. Try to open the coffin. Alright. Oh, broke my lockpick. Oh, did I only have one lockpick too? Jeez, I didn't realize that there was- I guess you can break lockpicks in this game. Uh, I do need health. Oh, I have max health? Well, never mind then. What's this? That's good. I think that's the end- oh, no, we have a boss now. Alright, we're about seven minutes in? I'm trying to remember, there's like a certain number of floors or whatever. Yeah, that looks like a, a doom reject. <laughs> First boss. <laughs> Should be easy. Let's go ahead and whip out the uh, MP40 we got our hands on earlier. <laughs> oh boy, this is not necessarily going the bestest. Oh, just like one more hit on that guy. Oh, I need to reload the pistol. Come on, there we go. Definitely could use some uh, some more health though. Which I think there's a health machine right here. Yes, I know the crowd's gonna hate me, but whatever. Can't get more ammo for this weapon. Man, the crowd hates everything I do. That's the thing that gets me. I mean, I know this game is multiple years old, so I kind of doubt that... Rabies? <laughs> Why are you drooling so much? Good news is that if you, you win Killing Room, you will have enough money to get proper health care. Your CNS is under that. Expect problems appearing randomly. Great. We're rabid now. Like I said, I know that this game is, uh... Can I upgrade my health? I am. Really would like to upgrade my health. And protects you until it's depleted, your health won't go down. Um. I want to upgrade stuff. That's like actually going to be helpful. Let's get another lock pick. And what is this? Oh, that could be useful also. Or no, improving damage is a better thing. Let's go for armor. Uh. Upgrade max health. And keep going. For two of eight. I think I might as well. Might might not even do the first fifteen thing. Might just try to keep going until until the game ends. 
figure out how far we get. Although it appears as though the game may have crashed. <laughs> okay, no, we're good. I saw the little loading loading circle and it's like, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Opening coffins will lower your popularity, at least if you are not the Slayer. Yeah, that reminds me of what I was going to say. Like I said, I don't really think um, that that this game necessarily is getting developed anymore, but I I don't quite understand why the crowd hates you for doing seemingly reasonable things. Um, it's just kind of weird. Doesn't really seem to be very much in this room. Looks like a hospital. I need to try to get the crowd to like me some more, I suppose. Oh, there's one of the snowmen that's all over the advertising for this game. I wish the game was running faster, because uh, it would be easier for me to, like, see. There we go. Nice. I think we barely even took any hits in there. So that's good. Take bad item, gain popularity. Well, I need to. Random penalty, minus one critical hit. <laughs> you probably see how much effort was put into creating the name and description of this unique item. Drop. Okay. That's that's not so bad, honestly. Actually, can I just drop that right away, though? Now that I think about it? No, I can't drop that stuff. I wonder if I can get rid of some of this stuff. Um, now the crowd doesn't hate us as much, though, which is good. Just hopefully, they'll give something at the end. This level is shaking so much. Kind of makes me a little bit spooked as to what's coming next. Oh, wait. This is the start room. Need to go this way. There's the side rooms, but I'm pretty sure the crowd also gets angry at you for going to the side rooms. So, like, what? what's the point? <laughs> Not that many enemies in this room. Mainly just traps. Yeah. Use vest machine. Minus 12 popularity. See, like, everything takes away your popularity, which is... Like, I don't understand that. I mean, I guess people watching a game show and want you to make it, like, as challenging as possible on yourself or whatever, but to some extent, I, I just don't understand, like... Like, why... I don't know. Like I guess I'm just like, why? mind, like, not freezing me? There we go. I keep, I've said there we go so many times in this video. Alright, I think this next room is probably a boss room. I have a feeling that this, like, palm trees and stuff, we're gonna have to face, like, a giant snowman or something. I hope that this this music isn't copyright. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my character's screaming. <laughs> oh my god! That thing is massive. Jesus! Go! Oh, it's fast too. This is so intense. <laughs> Oh, I need better weapons. I think its spikes might be doing damage to itself. Oh, this might be where the game ends. This is not looking that good. Explosive barrel didn't really do much. Aw, oh, man. Alright, well actually that turns out to be right around 15 minutes anyway. I've never actually died in game before, so I wonder what it'll uh, tell me. Oh, just in case you back to the, to the main menu. All right, well, that's Killing Room. That's right under 15 minutes, so that's that's pretty good. Cool idea for a game. That second boss kind of really jumped in difficulty. Honestly, I would I would say, but maybe I just wasn't like well equipped enough. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys in future videos, and bye bye.